And that's the truth, is you are already enough. You are already walking in your calling. You are already the person you're supposed to be. You don't got to change who God has called you to be. The room needs to adjust to you. Like a lot of us, we want to go to these new places. We want God to uproot us and take us to these new promised lands. We say, like, why God, when is it going to be my turn? Like, you've been waiting on God for so long. But what I want to ask you today is, are you living differently? Are you living renewed? Are you living in your soul? Are you living in your inherent value that who you are in Jesus? Like, have you thought about that this isn't all about the location that I need to go to. This is about the life that I need to live in Christ. Number two is, the number, second question you need to ask you is what is still holding you back? Ask yourself that. What is holding me back? Like what old sin am I still living in? What old behavior? What old relationship? What old mindset? Like, what old thing are you still holding on to even though you've given your life to Jesus? Like, the, like you've given him everything. Like, I know there's some people here that, like, you've given Jesus everything but one thing. There's still some addiction you're holding on to. There's still some old mindset. There's still something about your inherent value of who you are that you still haven't submitted to. Like, you haven't given Jesus everything. You haven't let it, his blood wash over your whole life. Give him everything. Give it to him. Give it to him. That, that sin you're holding on to, that thing inside your heart that's holding you captive, that's not allowing you to walk in your purpose and calling, give that to him. Maybe it's physical abuse. Maybe it's verbal abuse. Maybe it's the old, the, the old way that you talk to yourself. Maybe you've been talking to yourself so bad, you gotta get rid of that. That's not who you are. Because the devil's gonna come, he's gonna seek, kill, and destroy, and he's gonna lie to you. The devil doesn't want you walking in your purpose. I promise you, every time I get momentum in speaking, every time like things start to go well, the devil throws something new at me. People, people, call, it, people call it karma, people call it coincidence. I know it's the devil. I know there's some evil spirits that are after me. When I, I was about to go speak to a thousand kids at Apache Junction High School in August. And I had just auditioned for this school. I came in, I spoke to their student council. You know, it was right after math class, right before lunch. It was just in a classroom. And I remember speaking this story. I remember, you know, go, you know, doing everything that I do, just going as hard as I can. And they said, okay, we'll, we'll let you know if we want you to come back and speak to the whole school. So I got 1,000 kids that I'm about to speak to the next day at Apache Junction High School. 1,000. Non-Christian school. Can't say the name of Jesus. Can't say the name of God. But I got to go and minister to them because that's the calling that God has on my life. And I remember speaking with the Apache Junction principal. He's a Christian. And he was telling me, these kids are broken, Lance. They need hope. They need a new mindset. And I get this call from the other school. As I'm preparing for the message, I'm driving home. I'm thinking, I can't wait to speak to these thousand. In this other school, they call me back. They say, Lance, we're not going to have you. You're too intense. Hmm. That's the devil. Dude, anybody's intense between math class and lunch. <laughs> anybody's intense. And I, and I learned a valuable lesson that time. <laughs> Do not go and speak between math class and lunch. My message does not translate there. <laughs> but I remember my spirit was shaken. And I remember that was the devil. Like he was throwing this on my heart. Like, oh, you need to soften up, Lance. You need to soften up. Your message needs to be a little bit more Heartfelt, a little bit less piercing. Oh, oh, okay, okay. How am I supposed to go speak to a thousand kids in a packed gym, people that don't want to hear me, if I don't pierce their hearts? Uh-uh-uh, it's not going to happen. 
And I remember I picked up the phone. I called one of my mentors. I told him what had happened. I told him where I was going the next day. He goes, no. No, 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 Lance. You have been called. You are walking in your purpose. You are doing what you're supposed to be doing. You need to be who you are. You're already loved. You're already chosen. I know who I am. I know what you've spoken. You are enough. You are enough. And that's the truth, is you are already enough. You are already walking in your calling. You are already the person you're supposed to be. You don't got to change who God has called you to be. The room needs to adjust to you. Like Jesus has called you to be somebody and you can't take your old mindset, you can't take that filth that the devil has been throwing at you, you gotta start walking in who you're called to be. You are enough already. Your value and your worth does not come from what other people tell you. Your value and your worth does not come from your stat sheet. Your value and your worth comes from the one, the most high, and his name is Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 You're already enough. You are already enough. You are already chosen. Last, last thing I got to say is you can't, take, you can't take your old mindset into your new mission. Like God has got a promise for you. God has got a mission on your life. God has got something for you, but you can't take your, the old you. You can't take that person with you. You got to leave him behind. And that person was left behind on the cross. That person was left behind when Jesus died for you. You can't take that person into the places and the promises that God has for you because you are being planted in this life. You are not being buried.